Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. God bless you. I'm so glad to be with you here this morning. Uh, we're going to partake in our communion service, as well as Happy Palm Sunday, everybody. All right, Happy Palm Sunday. Amen. We thank God for all of you that have joined us here today. Amen. We're waiting for a few more to log on. <clears throat> But we do thank you for logging on today, amen, and sharing with us uh, this Sunday morning, amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We come to rejoice and be glad in it, amen. All right, so let us know that you're there. All right, I see a few hands there, amen. There we go, all right. We wanted to start on time today because we want to fit the service in. Um, as I told you, we were going to start at 11 o'clock. Amen. Again, amen. We just thank God for all of you that have uh, come on this morning. We hope that you have everything that you need for our communion service today. Amen. And we're going to go into the word of God. Amen. Just give us a second here. Amen. And while we do this, I'm going to have my brother just start off with a song this morning. Amen. Now slow. We can go slow. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The song simply says, I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. You reign on the throne for you. God and God alone, because of you my cloudy days are gone, so I can sing to you this song, I just want to say that I love you more than anything, come on let's sing it again, I live Thank you for allowing us to be here one more time. Still yet in the land of the living, God, we tell you thank you. Oh, God, we are so grateful. We are so grateful today, oh, God, for all that you have done, how you have kept us. Oh, God, even in this uh, 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 strained time, God, you have kept us. Hallelujah. And we want to tell you thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But today, oh, God, we come to remember you for who you are. We come to remember you, oh God, for what you have done. We come to remember you because you said to do this in remembrance of you. And today, oh God, as we partake of this bread, which represents life, which represents your broken body that was shed for us, oh God, we do it in remembrance of you. God, as we take this 
a drink, oh God. We ask you to sanctify it in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you right now, oh God, that as we stand here today, oh God, and partake of this cup, oh God, that it represents your blood. Hallelujah. Your redeeming blood. Your healing blood. Hallelujah. We thank you for the blood today. Oh, yes, we do, God. We thank you for your blood today. Your blood that was shed for us for the remission of our sins. Father, we ask you right now, oh God, that a lot of us, oh God, are experiencing some sicknesses in our family. Oh God, some has taken, uh, some has come, has succumbed to this uh, uh, COVID-19, this virus. God, today, oh God, even though they may be in the hospital, or they may not be in a position, oh God, to where they are able to partake in this communion. But we believe, oh God, that we're able to stand proxy here today. Hallelujah. That we're able to stand here in their stead. Hallelujah. Here, oh God, so that we can take partake of this healing blood and your broken body for them. Hallelujah. We thank you right now for this opportunity, oh God. And Father, as we do this, we do it in remembrance of you. Let your healing virtue flow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, let all God's people say amen. Come on, amen. Come on, let me see some hand claps, y'all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the word of the Lord says, For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is my is the new testament in my blood. Do this as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as oft as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body of the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation, and the rest will I set in order when I come. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's sing that right now because I believe, do you believe that God is your strength today? Come on, do you believe that he is your hope? Do you believe that he is your everything? Do you believe that he is your keeper? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on. You are my strength. Come on, everybody. You are my strength. Strength like none other.
hope today. Hope like none other. Hope like none other. And it reaches to me. Come on, he's reaching to you. Reaches to me. Oh, yes. Reaches to me. As they were eating, Jesus took the bread. Amen. Hallelujah. And he blessed it. Hallelujah. Come on, let us pray over this bread. Father God, we come to you right now on behalf of this bread, again, which is representation of your broken body. Father, as we take of this bread, oh God, as we, as we just concentrate on your word, because we believe that your word is life. And this bread represents your word also. God, help us to internalize your word for such a time as this. Let us not lose the word, but help us to hide it on the inside of us that we might not fall short of your glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the word of God says again, and as they were eating, Jesus took the bread. He blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, for this is my body. Let us eat in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you for the bread today, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on, let's sing a little bit of this. Give me a clean heart so I may serve thee. Lord, says, and he took the cup and he gave thanks. Amen. Come on, grab your cup. Amen. Father God, we thank you right now for this cup. We thank you for what it represents, God. We thank you, oh God, that it represents your blood. Your blood that will always prevail. Hallelujah. The blood prevails. Hallelujah. In spite of everything that may be going on, your blood still prevails. It'll reach to the highest mountain. It'll flow to the lowest valley. Wherever it is, God, your blood will give us strength. Come on, y'all. Your blood will give us strength from day to day. And it will never, hallelujah. Come on, somebody say, it'll never lose its power. Hallelujah. It will never lose its power. And we thank you for the blood of Jesus today. Hallelujah. We thank you for the blood of Jesus today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. And he took the cup and he gave thanks and he gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. For This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it anew with you in my father's kingdom. Amen. Let us drink. Believe in God. Believing in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Drink all of it. I know. Yeah. It was the blood. Oh, yes. I know.
Amen. The song said, I was glad when they said unto me, amen, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. You're in the house of the Lord right now. Wherever you are, it's the house of the Lord. Come on. Somebody say, I'm standing on holy ground. Come on, my house. Come on, my apartment, wherever I am. 
Amen. I'm standing on holy ground. Hallelujah. We are standing on holy ground. Come on, and I know. And I know that there are angels all around. Oh, let us praise Him. Praise for this opportunity to come to you, amen, and that we can gather together, amen, on one accord, yes. amen, in his presence. I'm so glad yes. that God is not just here, because I feel him right here, yes. but I'm glad that the word tells us that he is an omnipresent God, huh? So he's right where you are, amen. As my father often says, we are a carrier of his presence. Amen. Amen. So wherever you go, come on, God is. Do you believe that today? That wherever you go, wherever you are, God is. Amen. He's our all and all. Amen. Amen. And that's why we love him today. That's why I love him today. Amen. And I just, I just, I, I have to sing just, a, 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 I, I just love to sing personal love songs. To my God. Amen. A personal hallelujah. A personal thank you, Jesus. Amen. There's a song that we learned years ago. Amen. At our school. Amen. And the song simply says, 
Here's a personal hallelujah from me. Come on, I know a lot of y'all remember this. Come on. Here's a personal hallelujah from me. Says, I know nobody. I know nobody can say it for me. So here's a personal hallelujah from me. Come on, here's a personal thank you, Jesus. Here's a personal thank you, Jesus, from me. Thank you, Jesus, from me. I know nobody, I know nobody can say it for me. So here's a personal thank you, Jesus, from me. Come on, how about, Lord, I love you. Oh, here's a personal, Lord, I love you. today. Come on, tell them I love you, Lord. Come on, somebody, tell them, hallelujah, that's what you were created for. We were created to worship. Hallelujah. In the good times, in the bad times, what seems like bad times. Amen. The Bible tells us that it's all going to work out, y'all. Come on, it's all going to work out for your good because you love them and you know that you're called according to God's purpose. He has purpose for your life. Amen. He has purpose for your life. Amen. And no matter what you're going through, amen, hallelujah. I'm telling you all, these, these things that are going on right now, amen, and we know we, we, we almost can't even escape the subject. Amen. We know what's going on. These things are hitting home. Come on. They're hitting us personally. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't give out, you know, personal information, but let me tell you something, this stuff is hitting close to home, amen, but it still has not persuaded me otherwise that God is still able, come on y'all, amen, because my persuasion came before this uh, 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 corona attack, come on y'all, amen, the Bible says I've already been persuaded, amen, death, life, none of these things are going to separate me, huh, from the, I'm still going to continue to love on my God. I'm still going to continue to serve God. I'm still going to proclaim his glory. I'm still going to say that he's a healer. Come on, I'm going to still say he's a provider. I'm going to still claim that he's a way maker. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And he's able to keep you. Hallelujah, no matter what. Come on, do you have a no matter what attitude? Come on, when it comes to God. Thank you, Lord God. I have a no matter what. Amen. I've been through things. Hallelujah. I'm standing here right now in my mother's home. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Where she went on to be with the Lord just a few months ago. Amen. And here I'm still standing in her house. Come on, y'all. 
still able to tell God thank you still able to tell him Lord I still love you hallelujah amen hallelujah and that he's still good and that he's still a healer amen and that he's still a provider and a way maker hallelujah thank you Lord God don't 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 tell me amen we've got to be as I said a few uh, 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 months ago maybe we were talking about we got to be battle tested for a time like this amen I got so many phone calls amen I almost felt like and, and, and before I say this I'm not talking amen I don't want to disparage the uh, uh, mental health community at all amen but I got some phone calls this week and it made me feel almost like I was bipolar amen one minute I'm praying healing Amen. In the, in the next in the next call I get, Amen. I'm I'm, I'm praying for them to uh, uh uh you know because someone has gone on to be with the Lord. Yes. Amen. Hopefully they've gone on to be with the Lord. Yes. Amen. I'm saying, Lord, seems like our prayers are scattered. Hallelujah. Seems like our prayers are scattered. We don't know what to pray for. Hallelujah. We don't know how to console. We don't know how to encourage. One, one phone call, I'm encouraging somebody. The next phone call, I, I seem to be consoling somebody. Yes. Hallelujah. I felt like I was almost schizophrenic in many ways. Amen. And again, I use it as a loose term. Amen. I use it as a loose term today. Amen. But I'm telling you, y'all, amen, when you don't know what to pray for, yes. come on, let your spirit man speak for you. Come on, let your spirit on the, the spirit of God down on the inside of you. Amen. Let your Holy Ghost rise up. Let him rise up in you. Amen. And he will word your mouth. The Bible says open up your mouth and he'll word it for you. He'll fill it. Yes, he will. And I'm sure there's some of you that are watching us even here right now today. Amen. You've been experiencing a lot of the same things. Amen. Praying and declaring health over our children. Amen. Even in the midst of sickness, come on now, we're still proclaiming health, right? Yes. Good health. Still holding on to the promises of God. Yes. Amen. Let me tell you something. Just because a certain situation or circumstances does not cancel out who God is. Hallelujah. It does not cancel out what he will do for you. It does not cancel him out as a healer. Did I think he was no longer a healer because he took my mother? No. Hallelujah. Because he showed me that even in that, he was showing his grace towards her. It had nothing to do with me. Hallelujah. And sometimes we feel like our lives or lives that are uh, 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 in peril, amen, or lives that are, are, are so-called lost, amen. The only way that a life is lost is if they die without knowing Christ. That's the only time a life is lost. Hallelujah. That's the only time. Because when you're with Christ, he said, I'll never leave you. That means you're not lost because God certainly knows where he is at all times, right? We can't be lost. Hallelujah. We can't be dropped. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can't be when you have Christ in your life. That's why my job, no matter what, my mission for this time and for this season is to let people know that prayer still works. Amen. Prayer still works. Even when we don't know how to pray, it still works. Just acknowledge him. Acknowledge him in your life and watch him work. Watch him work it out. Hallelujah. Listen, there have been some, some, some pain. There has been some heartache going on. In the children of God, as I told someone, I believe it was Wednesday. Amen. This is not just a, a sin of man sickness. Come on, y'all. This is happening to all of us. This is happening to everybody. This is happening to our family members. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and when it hits home, amen, all of a sudden it takes on a different light. Amen. As long as it's, 
happening to somebody else, we 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 still we're we're still fervent in our prayers, right? Amen. We we still we're good at projecting. Amen. We're still at we're good we're still at projecting. Amen. When it's others, but when it happens to you, don't allow your faith to dissipate. Holland, don't allow your faith to dissipate. He's still the same God. He's the same Savior. He's the same Deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't, don't allow the enemy to take away what you fought for. Come on. You went through hell to get your testimony. Hallelujah. Don't you dare allow him. Amen. To, 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 to convince you to turn your back on who you believe. Come on. I believe God. I believe God. I don't know what tomorrow holds. But today, I believe God. Amen. I'm not saying I'm going to give up on tomorrow, but who knows? I may not be here tomorrow. Who knows? Life is not this life. I should, and let me be clear about that. Because I know we say life is not promised to us, but this life is not promised to us. But everlasting life is. Everlasting life is. Hallelujah. Do you know that it's promised to you? Amen. That's why, you know, going into the word of God quickly. Amen. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 18. Many times we, we, we quote this scripture very, you know, incorrect. Amen. Because we're quick to say, you know, life and death, right? Is in the power of the tongue. But the Bible says, come on, turn there with me. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. It says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. Now, I was saying, Lord, why did you put death first instead of life? Mm -hmm. Even though, amen, we, we often quote it that way. Because what we know is life first. We know life before death. Yes. Amen. But as I was concentrating on this word, amen, because I'm looking around and seeing the situation, and y'all know me, amen, I always tell people that life happens. Mm -hmm. The Bible says what? It rains on the just as well as yes. the unjust. So what am I saying? I know it, it, it upsets people sometimes. But life happens. Amen. We are not insulated from this life. Amen. We're not insulated. We, we, we're not exempt. Uh, there's not a magic wand over our life. We still go through sickness. Come on. We still go through uh, whatever life throws at us. Amen. And a lot of times we feel like we even have no control over what goes on in life because if we had all control, Nobody would die, right? Nobody would be sick. We would never be sick if we had control over life. But we don't have control over this life. Amen. But we do have help. And our help is Christ Jesus. I'm not telling you, amen, that you have no help or that you have no hope because we know the Bible tells us that our hope is in Christ Jesus. Amen. But here, amen, he's talking about death and life. It's in the power of your tongue. Now, here I said, Lord, as, as I was as I was concentrating on this word, and, and, and even uh, over this weekend, Amen. I was discussing with someone about choices, right? How we have choices, Amen. And our, our choices are whether we choose everlasting life yes. or death. And I'm talking about second death now. I'm talking about the death of your soul or the life of your soul. You have total control. Somebody say, I have total control total to, choose. to choose. Come on, you have total control to choose. Here, even though we speak the word of God, amen, and we speak life, it's not always up to us. Come on, let's speak truth to the matter, right? Come on, we got to speak truth to power. Hallelujah. 
We got to speak truth. Even though our God has the power over death, right? He has power over the grave. Amen. But the Bible still tells us that. And I'm not, but I'm, listen, he, he still said that it's appointed unto man once to die and then comes the judgment. Amen. So it is my job to get us prepared not only to live this life, but to get you prepared for the life to come. Yes. Hallelujah. And many of us are not uh, comfortable in discussing this life. We all say, oh, I can't wait to get to heaven, but we really don't want to get there. Hallelujah, because in order to get there, you got to go through death. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and here today, amen, God is saying that, you know, maybe, may, you know, maybe things won't work out the way you think they should. Yes. Hallelujah. God knows if I had my choice, Amen. There'd be a whole bunch of folks still here, but it was not his will. And I don't want you to use this as a cop-out sermon. Amen. If something happens or something happens to our loved ones or something. Amen. Because that's not the reason why the Lord is having me go this way. I'm going this way to show you the importance yes. of your choice that you have control over. And your choice that you have control over is salvation. Hallelujah. It's telling God yes. yes Come on. When you tell God yes, it's up to you. It's your choice. Nobody can make you do it. And nobody can hold you back from doing it. Amen. And I'm telling you, when you have this understanding, you'll look at life differently. You begin to live. Yes, Hallelujah. You begin to live. Yes, you will. I really believe in my heart that people don't even know what life is about. They don't even know what living and enjoying life is until you have Christ in your life. I know you said, well, I have fun. I do this and I do that and I go here and I go there and I do that. Let me tell you something. Amen. That's why, you know, it's important for us who know Christ. Amen. Who have Christ in our life that we represent who he really is. <laughs> Amen. That you represent, do, do, do people want what you have? Thank you, Lord God. You have to watch your mouth. Yes, you do. It's in your tongue. Yes, it is. It, it, it's in your mouth. And you have to remember that. You have total control over what you're going to believe in, who you're going to believe in. And I choose Jesus today. I choose Jesus. No turning back. Regardless, and, and let me tell you something, we've been through some tough times. We've been through some situations. I already feel battle tested. Amen. I know that I'm carrying some battle scars, but I still know that God is able. And I'm here to proclaim his word no matter what. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that God is able to heal your loved ones. I'm here to tell you that this COVID-19 is nothing. Come on now. All that has to be done is to speak the word of God. Yes, that's all. That's all. Speak the word. Yes. And God is able. God is able. His blood. He died for this reason. He died for this reason. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. Don't you know that today? Do not give up on your prayers. Do not give up on your believing. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Don't give up. There's a song we used to sing by Reverend Winstead. He said, don't give up. Because God has never, come on y'all, he has never lost a battle. Don't give up. I will not give up and I will not be silent. Come on. When the enemy comes in like a flood, that's the time to open up your mouth. Come on. And proclaim and declare the word of God no matter what. This is our time to stand. This is not our time to hide. This is our time to stand and to have communion with our God. 
This is, our, this is your time to prove God in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. One minute, amen. I'm saying, I'm praying for someone that, that, uh, uh, that they will continue to have and they won't have lack. Yes. I finish praying for them and I start to look at myself. Come on, y'all. Start to look at my own situation. And then I say, Lord, I, I need you now. And I, and I feel that moment of doubt coming in because of layoffs and because of this and because of that. Amen. And the Lord is telling me, stop praying these bipolar prayers. Yes. Stop praying these contradictory prayers. Yes. If you're going to believe, believe. If you're going to stand, stand. Yes. Amen. And he showed me something even on yesterday. He proved himself to me. Amen. One of my members, amen, I, I, I woke up in the morning, amen, and God knows I, it was on bills and things, because you know it's around the first of the month, right? Amen. Things are due. Bills are due. Mortgages is due. Rents are due. Payments are due. Light bills are due. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I'm saying, Lord, I need substance now. Yeah. And my mind started worrying about what's going to happen, what's going what's to be here, what's going to be there. Are you going to supply my needs? Amen. I'm up here proclaiming the word of God, telling everybody out there that God is going to do it. But yet within myself, I'm experiencing a moment of doubt. Amen. But the Lord checked me yesterday. Amen. One of my members, amen, I woke up, I turned on my phone. Amen. And I looked and somebody's, I mean, something came up there. I had a cash app. Somebody deposited some money in my account. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, Lord, now... Now, I looked at that money. I said, oh, my God. the Lord!" And you know what, saints of God? It wasn't even the amount that counted. It was just that God was telling me, son, there's some things at this time that I'm not going to allow you to worry about because you have a job to do. Come on, you have a mission to accomplish. You have to keep people encouraged. I'm not going to drop you as long as you continue to preach my word. Come on, as long as you continue to proclaim who I am and who I want to be. He checked me yesterday. He checked me with a check. Come on, y'all. Give y'all a hand clap for that one. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I, I didn't even have my cash app all together. I had to go and how many know I finished that? I finished everything. I, I, I went in there and I, 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 I put in the numbers and everything. Got my new cash at name and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red Wade B if you want to know. <laughs> I went in there, amen, and finished that up. I said, Lord, I just want to thank you for thank proving you. yourself to me. I want to thank you for proving yourself to me. Hallelujah. It's the, it's the little things that mean so much. Even though our bills aren't little. Amen. But I, 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 I want to tell you, amen, that it's those things that God will show up just on time. Amen. I've had people calling me this week telling me, oh, pastor, we've listened to the word on a different day. Amen. And we didn't hear it live. But on the day that I heard the word was the day that I needed that word. Come on, on the day that I needed to hear that song, that song play. It's those things that God will do to show that he is real. Come on, he's real, y'all. And he's present. I said he's present. I mean, he's here right now. He's present right now. Thank you, Lord God. Even, even in the word of God, in that same chapter of Matthew, the 26th chapter, we will see that when Jesus went to the garden of Gethsemane, amen, it, it, it looked like a contradictory prayer that he prayed. He asked God to take the cup away. He said, if there was another way, take this cup. See, you got to understand that at this time of Passover, Amen. At this time, amen, when Jesus was about to lay down his life for us, it was a chaotic time. It was a chaotic time. People, the, the disciples didn't know whether they were coming or going. They had lost sight of the mission. Hallelujah. And even in this time, it seems like a chaotic time. 
But let me tell you something. God is a God of order. Yes, he is. Amen. And he's always going to come out on top. Yes, Amen. And I want to be on top with him. Yes, Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. He, he, he prayed this prayer. He said, Lord, if there's any other way, take this cup from me. But then he turned around and said, but let your will be done. Twice, three times, he went to pray, the Bible says. Three times he went to pray. Struggling because of, I believe that this here showed his humanity. We love life. We love life because it's life, what life is what we know. Even though we have the promise of the word of God on the inside of us, right? Amen. That 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 he going to prepare a place for us. Amen. And where he is, we're going to be there too. Amen. And we know, amen, we say the word of God to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. But listen, saints of God, this is all we know. This is what we know because we walk by faith and not by sight. Right? So even when we believe the word of God, we believe the word of God in faith. It's not because of what we see. It's because of what we believe. That's why God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. He, he, he rewards you for believing him. He rewards you for trying him. Amen. So this life is what we know. And it's okay to want to live life. But you got to know, amen, that it's the life to come that you have to take most precious care of. And the only way you can do that is to make your choice today. Make your choice today. You have total control of your choice. And if you're gonna exercise that right today, come on, you have a right to choose. If you're gonna exercise that right today, I want you to pray with me today. I want you to pray with me. And I want you to mean it from your heart. And I want you to pray, but then, you know, I don't want you to think that it's going to be you that's going to change yourself. It's God that's going to change you. It's God that's going to change you. Come on, repeat this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus look, on me. look on me. It's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of grace. Have mercy on me. Forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for my unbelief. In the name of Jesus. I'm giving you my life. Come on, freely. Open-mindedly. I'm giving you my life. Save me. Redeem me. In Jesus' name. I believe that you died for me and that you rose again for me. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap for all those. Come on, we believe if you pray that prayer that you are saved. Amen, that you are now, you belong to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen, and we thank God. The angels in heaven are dancing right now over you, rejoicing over you. Amen. We thank God for you today. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for this time again that we're in, this time of Passover. Amen. As the Lord has been just dealing with us so much all week long. Amen. We're, we're here. We're going to celebrate God. Don't allow anything to stop your celebration. Amen. For the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Don't let anything stop your celebration for him. Amen. Because no matter what, he is still Lord. He is still Lord. And he has risen from the dead to give us the power, come on now, over the second death. Huh? And in our eternal life. Yes, he did. He has the keys. And I don't care what anybody says. It ain't over until God says it's over. Hallelujah. We're going to begin. We're going to continue to pray the prayer of faith over your family. Come on now. 
We're going to continue to proclaim the word of God over your family and over your household. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Because God is able to do just what he said he will do. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to caution some of you, amen, that are out there. The Lord put this on my heart, and then we're going to end this broadcast. Amen. I, I see some things going on, amen, on social media and how we so quickly, amen, and I'm not, I'm not chastising, amen. I'm just putting out, amen, what the Lord has given me, amen. Maybe it is chastising for some. We got to be careful in how we get caught up in the in the, uh, the, 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 the social media craziness. All right? We got to be careful. Amen. As we were going throughout this week, amen, I saw where there was some type of game, and it seemed very innocent. And I, I'm not, again, it, it seemed very innocent, but the Lord wanted to, at least for me, show me something in this what seemed to be innocent. We know the Bible tells us that we don't fight against flesh and blood, but we fight against principalities and wickedness and all these uh, 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 devilish things in, in high places. Yes. Amen. And I'm looking over what the Passover season is really about. I know we take communion and things like that, and we remember the, 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 the death of Christ, amen, and the resurrection of Christ. But what the original Passover was about was about the death angel passing through the land yes. and because of the blood come on because of the blood he passed over his people the death angel passed over his people yes. amen and that death angel was out there to kill the firstborn kid the firstborn son or the firstborn child of everybody who was not covered under the blood amen and here this week, I've seen it, almost everybody out there posting. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm, I'm saying, Lord, what is the agenda here? Mm -hmm. Everybody's posting, this is my firstborn. They're taking pictures, Snapchatting and, and, and Twittering and everything. This is my firstborn. This is my firstborn. I said, Lord, what's going on in this time and in this season that everybody is posting and, 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 and delivering up their firstborns? Listen, y'all, the enemy is slick. And we cannot be ignorant of his devices. Yes. Hallelujah. We cannot be ignorant of his device. And y'all know I am not a, 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 a conspiracy theorist. I, I don't do those things. But it just kind of grieved me somewhat. Amen. That that in a time, I'm like, who started this game? Who who started these things? I see now if it's a donut day, everybody gets a donut. No, you don't need a donut. It's pizza day. It's this day. It's that day. It's this day. It's that. And we just follow. We just follow. We have to be careful, y'all, of these trends that are out here. I'm here to warn you today. Amen. Don't follow the trend. Follow Christ. Amen. How, how, how many is going to follow the trend to... To, to, to be, uh, to worship God on National Prayer Day. I bet there's more people out here going to get a free donut or a free ice cream than for free prayer, which is coming up May the 1st. Amen. So, so let's think about that and consider our ways. We have to, the Bible tells we need to consider our ways, right? Amen. And make sure that these things are of God. We try the spirit by the spirit. Let your spirit speak to you before you do these things and you follow these trends. Yes. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Listen, uh, uh, we've had a lot of calls on tithes and offerings. Please feel free to go to our website, citadelofhopemission.org to give your tithes and your offering. Amen? If, you, if you're not giving through uh, that, then you can also mail your tithes and offerings, amen, to uh, Citadel of Hope Mission. It's the P.O. Box. 409 readers that's r-e-e-d-e-r-s readers pennsylvania amen. 18352 amen and 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 to continue to keep this work going amen feel free to do that amen and go online when you go online to our website please put on put your prayer request in as well as your praise report i'm gonna say that again 
not just your prayer requests, but also your praise report. We want to be able to report the good news. There is some good news out there. Some have recovered from this thing. Come on, y'all. Come on. We got to give God praise for recovery today. Come on. Do you believe that today? There is recovery today. Amen. Hallelujah. So we want to give God praise for that. Amen. And on next week again, we're going to see you here on Resurrection Sunday at 11 o'clock. We can't wait to see you. Amen. Don't uh, 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 know that we're going to be here and you're going to be able to view us. Amen. And we'll be sharing live. Amen. At 11 o'clock on next Sunday. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. We pray the blessings of God over your life. Amen. And we pray the, uh, the safety and the, pro and the uh, protection of God yes. over you and yours. In Jesus' name. Come on, let us pray. Father God, again, we want to say thank you. Thank you for this time that we had to share with one another. God, you know those that are out there that you want to reach. God, we ask you right now, oh God, to, to, to just reach us. Let your blood reach us. You said that it can go anywhere we are. Your blood will give us strength from day to day, and it will never, ever lose its power. Continue to bless and keep each and every one of us. And until the next time when we're able to come together through this platform, keep, bless, heal, deliver, yes. make free, yes. save, hallelujah, persuade somebody in the name of Jesus that you are God and God alone. We give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Now say this with me. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, you are my strength and you are my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, let me see your palms, y'all. Come on, this is Palm Sunday. Come on, let me see your palms. Yeah, we got palms right here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.